Hi right, guys, this is my update end of year review uh, for my bug out bag. So I'm still using a 511 at the moment, but this bag is up for sale. Just the bag itself is up for sale on my Facebook group because I'm going to change the way I do my bug out bag for 2019. So today I'm going to take you through this bug out bag, what I have in it, and then I'm going to throw some ideas about what I'm going to replace in the new year and how I'm going to do that. And also, um, I'm going to do uh, other things on my Facebook group. So make sure you check that out. That's where my information is going to be because I'm, I'm mainly on there. So let's empty this bag out and I'll show you what I have. Right, so this is pretty much my gear load out here. It's a lot less than my past videos if you look. So what I'm going to do is, this is my whole bag emptied out. So I'm going to chuck that there and then I'm going to go through everything. I'll just put it to the side because I can't reach everything. I moved to a smaller house, so this is what I have now. So I'm going to start over here. It's really, um, it rains loads, it's a really wet country here. So from the top here, I got a pair of waterproof trousers. I have an army poncho. That one is a, a, a bivy bag, a Miltech bivy bag. Um, I like that one. It's a lot of space in that one. And that will fit my um, sleeping bag in it nicely. Um, I never had any issues with that. And also inside that Miltech bivy bag, I have a couple of emergency blankets in there. So if it does get really, really cold, I have something extra. That's a Basha tent uh, tarp for that one. Coming to closest here, I have a rucksack cover because I don't want my kit to get wet before I even use it. I have a wind-up torch, and I also have a battery-operated cheap torch. That's something I'm probably going to upgrade in uh, future videos. It's just one of those little Poundland ones, and it has some spare batteries with it. But I never had a problem with them breaking, so... A uh, small pair of binoculars, uh, just to see what's up ahead before I travel. Um, this one here is just a bag of uh, cordage, so I have my rope with me. Uh, I also put a lot of the stuff I can on a... Um, um, a pouch that has molly in the back or straps I can put on a belt. Now I have a small multi tool which I'm going to upgrade because this is just a, a budget one. Uh, some 10 pegs, I use them instead of trying to make something. So I'm not always uh, in the woods, it could be urban and stuff, but if I do have to make 10 pegs, I'd rather, make, I'd rather have them than have to make them out of wood or anything else. Um, that is a really good first aid kit. Uh, again, I put stuff important stuff on a molly pouch. This is my cat, Storm. Thank you. She's a hunting cat, so she'll go out and get stuff and bring it back to me. Isn't that right? Good cat. Right, so after that, I have a fire kit here. Um, mainly, on my fire kit, I'm going to have my fat rope uh, stick, because you get loads of fires out of that. I have um, my some bits of fat wood here. I have one or two ferro rods, a few lighters, um, some polymath product stuff in there as well because they're always good. So that's good fire kit and that. Now going across, I have one knee pad. Um, if I'm doing something on the ground, bow drill or whatever, I put one knee on the floor so I only need one pad. Good girl. Right. Going up with PPE, I have a pair of gloves. Um, this is just basic ones, you can tell they're dirty, so I've been using them loads. Um, I also have some Kevlar gloves here. Um, these are ones from Wish. I'll probably do a video on that one. I ordered some, a lot of stuff from Wish on a budget, and they hold up pretty well so far. Um, I got some duct tape with the middle taken out so I can make it a little bit flatter. Um, that's a small book, um, pens, like a little bit of admin kit on that. For knives, I've chosen... Um, the Gerber strong arm. I like that knife. Uh, really tough knife. Really good handle on it, and the sheath's really good. And I've already attached it, so it's side mounted on, um, well, rear mounted, if you want to call it. But it's mounted long ways on it, so I can put the additional items on the belt um, once I'm ready to do so, and then it'll free up some more room in my pack. Uh, cooking kit. I have this one, which a lot of people mention. Um, it's the Black's uh, tin, so you have it's frying pan, you have the, you know, my coffee stuff on the inside of it, then you have a frying pan inside of there with a spork, and then inside of that you have my cooker, um, one of those um, stove cookers with the gas tablets one. Alright, so all that goes in there. 
Um, they don't make these anymore. Uh, someone gave this to me. And I really appreciate it because it's a really good Peter kit. Now, again, we're in winter. So I got warm trousers. I got some warm socks. And I, to keep my head warm, I have a hat and some other bits in there. Scarves, warm top. Um, another snood. And then a uh, body clover. Uh, not body clover. Um, what do they call them? I forgot now. You know what it is. That. Shmog. There we go. Right. I got a pair of um, uh, glasses, some pair of goggles uh, for eye protection. Uh, the last thing I want is something in my eye. Um, I don't want to cut hand. Um, stuff like that, basically. Um, food wise, I have lots of wet and dry. This is probably the main bit of my weight in my bag. I also got a pack of water in here. So that, that's mainly my weight, I would say, out of all this. Uh, but that, that's kind of weight that's gonna go with you while you're traveling, because you're gonna be eating as you're going and your bag will get lighter. I also got some honey, because that never goes off, really. Um, closest to the pile here, I have a homemade um, survival kit, which has a mirror in the background, in case you do get anything in your eyes, a bit of tin foil, uh, water purifying tabs, another bag, but inside of here, I have lots of good stuff, and a ferro rod attached to the side. Kill that, please. Uh, rookie mistake, sorry. Uh, hygiene kit. I have this small hygiene kit here, which I picked up from an army shop. So that also um, got compacted down a lot from my other kit. I got some baby wipes here for um, going for instead of loo roll and uh, it's multi use. Um, a neck knife. I have on here is my uh, Mora Eldris. I just got that one. Um, very reliable knife. Um, right, so I put a few dust masks in here. Uh, mainly not because of like, you know, bombs and whatnot, but mainly for fires. Uh, if there's a big fire coming up or if you're stuck somewhere with a lot of smoke, having a gas mask uh, would be appreciated for that situation. Um, Book-wise, I got a food for free wrapped up in a bag and that's an SAS uh, lofty book. Something to read and give me ideas while I'm going along. Uh, this one here has a map of my area um, a compass and I have a spare band here for a slingshot in case my uh, slingshot here so I got a nice black widow slingshot in here with some ball bearings in here I am a, a decent shot with that and again it's on a molly backing so again that can go on my belt so you have quite a few items that can go on a belt here or change it around if I need it I also have a fishing kit pre-made one but it's good enough for me and I have some brass wire there for traps. So between the food I have with me, my fishing kit, brass wires and a sink shot, that's gonna be what I, what I have to bring with me. This one here, you're probably saying, oh, you don't got a water filter. Right, so this one here, you have a Pathfinder set. So I have the bottle, I have the big cup. Uh, I got my silverware, I got a little bellow in here. I still have my cat. I also have, um, a water tablets are in here. I also got some little tools, just cute ones like that, in case I come across anything like a fence or something I need to do. But um, also I got a Soya Mini in here. So all that is in there. So I do carry stuff, ways of cleaning my water. Um, before I had too many water containers. So I tried to lighten the load with that one. Um, and some other bits I, give, I took out. But this is what I have so far. Let me turn the camera around a second. So that's my end of year bug out bag at the moment. I'm gonna work on that one. Like I said, I am selling the bag on Facebook. I'm gonna change that around a little bit. And my goals for next year is to be a little bit lighter, um, just have a better equipment bag, more upgrades and stuff like that. So look forward to that, seeing that bag. Now, um, comment section. Um, there's always random comments about what to take out, what I don't need, this and that. Again, we're in the UK, so no guns, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, stuff I can add to it that I didn't show here would be a bow, which again is illegal here. Um, I have a survival bow though. I have an air rifle. I have other stuff that I don't show, but this is not my whole kit. Trust me, I have stuff that I have too much of. I'm trying to sell on my Facebook group. So if you're interested in getting a good deal, check that out over there. Um, but again, we're in the UK. It's wet, it's cold at the moment. So, you know, I'm thinking more towards that situation. Um, but like I said, leave me a comment what you think about the bag. Thanks guys for watching. Check out Pepper Dell's channel. He's popping out some videos lately too. Also, like, share, subscribe. And if you can, uh, promote me to Facebook groups. That would really help me out a lot. And my Facebook group as well. Check that out, Pepper in the Woods. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next video. Bye.